to study earth's magnetic field horizontal component of earth's magnetic field using a tangent galvanometer a tangent galvanometer is a moving magnet type galvanometer the working of tangent galvanometer is based on the tangent law it states that when a magnet is suspended freely in two mutually perpendicular uniform magnetic fields b and h and the magnet comes to rest making an angle theta with the direction of h then b is equal to h tan theta madam how can we study earth's magnetic field horizontal component of earth's magnetic field using a tangent galvanometer let i be the current passing through the circular coil of radius r having n number of turns thus magnetic field produced at the center of the coil b is equal to mu not n i divided by 2 r which is equal to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 n i by 2 r because mu not by 4 pi is equal to 10 to the power minus 7 or b is equal to 2 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into n i by r if h is the horizontal component of earth's magnetic field and the magnetic needle of the tangent galvanometer comes to rest taking an angle theta with the direction of h then from the tangent law b is equal to h tan theta or 2 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 n i by r is equal to h tan theta or h is equal to 2 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 n i by r tan theta on substituting the values of n i r and theta we can find value of horizontal component of earth's magnetic field let's do an experiment to study earth's magnetic field horizontal component of earth's magnetic field using a tangent galvanometer our aim here is to study earth's magnetic field horizontal component of earth's magnetic field using a tangent galvanometer apparatus required are tangent galvanometer battery anammeter rheostat one way key reverse key vernier calipers connecting wires procedure make a neat and clean circuit diagram arrange all components on the table according to the circuit diagram level the base and the compass needle in compass box of tangent galvanometer using leveling screws and spirit level remove insulation from the ends of the connecting wires and make neat and tight connections now rotate the coil of the tangent galvanometer about its vertical axis till the magnetic needle its image in the plane mirror fixed at the base of the compass box and the coil that is all these three lie in the same vertical plane in this setting the ends of the aluminum pointer should read 00 if the pointer does not read 00 then rotate the box without disturbing the position of the coil till at least one of the ends of the pointer stands at the zero mark allow the current flow in the galvanometer by closing the key k read the both ends of the pointer now reverse the direction of current by using the reversing key when the mean values of deflections shown by pointer in the two cases differ by more than 1 degree then turn slightly the vertical coil until the two values agree this will set the plane of the coil exactly in the magnetic meridian set the deflection in galvanometer around 45 degree by adjusting the rheostat record the reading of the ammeter and the deflection of the compass needle using the pointer reverse the current in coil of the galvanometer and again record the current and deflection of needle by changing the value of current take four more set of readings measure the inner and outer diameter of the coil with the help of vernier calipers at least three times observation 
number of turns of tangent galvanometer N is equal to X internal diameter of the coil D1 is equal to X centimeter external diameter of the coil D2 is equal to X centimeter mean diameter of the coil D is equal to D1 plus D2 divided by 2 is equal to X centimeter mean radius of the coil R is equal to D by 2 is equal to X centimeter is equal to X meter table for current I and deflection theta current I ampere deflection theta in degrees direct current reverse current one end of pointer theta 1 other end of pointer theta 2 one end of pointer theta 3 other end of pointer theta 4 mean theta in degrees mean value of deflection theta is equal to x degree mean value of current i is equal to x ampere result the value of horizontal component of earth's magnetic field using tangent galvanometer at x is x tesla precautions all the connections should be neat clean and tight the compass needle in compass box of the tangent galvanometer should be leveled using leveling screws and spirit level the tangent galvanometer should be kept far from the magnetic substances the current should be so adjusted that the deflection should lie between 30 degree and 60 degree both ends of the pointer should be read after removing parallax between the pointer and its image in the plane mirror sources of error all the connections may not be neat clean and tight there may be magnetic material around the tangent galvanometer thank you ma'am for this knowledgeable experiment